Hello, I'm David Kerr. You're watching Shalom World News. Here's your latest headlines from around the globe. Pope Francis is urging priests to take Holy Communion to those who are sick with coronavirus. The Holy Father made his comments during morning Mass at his Vatican residence. The Pope asked priests to strengthen the sick by bringing them, quote, the Word of God and the Eucharist and accompanying health workers and volunteers. Outside of China, Italy is presently the country with the highest rate of both infection and death due to coronavirus. The Italian government is currently imposing a lockdown on the entire country in a bid to slow the transmission of the virus. Meanwhile, the outbreak of coronavirus around the world has seen the Catholic Church respond in various ways in various countries. In the Philippines, one of the country's most senior clerics says that the coronavirus threat should spur Catholics to greater trust in God. In a pastoral letter, Archbishop Socrates Villegas reminded the faithful that God has power beyond the human sciences. The Archbishop stressed that the threat of the coronavirus pandemic is an invitation for greater prayer and more penance. Meanwhile, in Lebanon, one cleric has taken to the air in a bid to protect his country from coronavirus. Maronite priest Father Majdi Alawi used a helicopter to fly over his homeland carrying the Blessed Sacrament in a monstrance. Father Alawi blessed the Lebanese people with the sacred host and prayed for protection and deliverance from the pandemic. In Poland, the Archdiocese of Krakow has decided to begin the canonization process for both Amelia and Karol Josef Wojtyla, the parents of Pope St. John Paul II. The Archdiocese recently got permission from the Congregation for the Cause of Saints in Rome to begin the process. Pope St. John Paul always said that he was heavily influenced by the Catholic piety of his parents. He would often recall seeing his father kneeling and praying and said it was a sight that had a deep impact on his own youthful spiritual development. In fact, he described their modest family apartment in the southern Polish town of Wadowice as a kind of domestic seminary. Pope St. John Paul's parents were married in Krakow in 1906 and had three children, the future Pope being the youngest. His father was a Polish army lieutenant, his mother was a school teacher. She died, however, when the young Karol Wojtyla was only eight years old. The Catholic Church across the Philippines is preparing to celebrate 500 years since the arrival of Christianity in the Southeast Asian country. It was with the arrival of the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan that Christianity reached Hominhon Island in the province of Easter Samar on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th in the year 1521. The local diocese of Barongan will ring church bells across their territory at noon on the anniversary to mark the beginning of the celebrations. The diocese say the bells will denote the centrality of Christ to their people and the urgent need, quote, to live Christ and to share Christ in the various circumstances of daily life. Holy Mass will be offered the night before at the Immaculate Conception Parish in Guyayan town by the local bishop, the Most Reverend Crispin Varquez. He will also launch a celebratory logo and theme song. The day following, he will travel to Hominhon Island, where he will again offer Holy Mass. Finally, in Poland, it seems that more and more men in cities across the country are joining rosary processions on the first Saturday of each month. First Saturday devotions, also called an act of reparation to the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is a devotion which, according to Sister Lucia, who had been one of the young seers at Fatima in 1917, was requested by the Blessed Virgin Mary in a further apparition at Pontevedra in Spain in December 1925. The devotion has been approved by the Church. This month saw the men's rosaries take place in over 25 cities across Poland, with places such as Czestochowa taking part for the first time, and other cities such as Torin resuming their procession. Well, that's all for now. Do join us next time for some more headlines from around the globe. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom.